Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. We begin with news that Trump protesters today stormed the U.S. Capitol and gained access to the Senate floor as lawmakers were expected to affirm Joe Biden as the President of the United States. And amid the chaos, President-elect Joe Biden called the protesters extremists, executing an unprecedented assault on the American democracy. And it must end now. This was a fraudulent election, but we can't play into the hands of these people. We have to have peace. A man and his common-law wife have been arrested in St. Catherine following the seizure of two firearms and several rounds of ammunition. The seizures were made at a house in the community of Perryview Park during an operation conducted by police and soldiers. Justice Vivian Harris, who presided over the police death squad case, is to be appointed the 13th judge on the Court of Appeal, filling the last vacancy in the nation's second highest court. Harris's elevation from the Supreme Court will take effect on January 11. In sports, former Trinidad and Tobago international goalkeeper Shaka Hislop says the leaked recording of payment negotiations between the Jamaica Football Federation hierarchy and Reggae Boys team captain Damian Lowe is proof of a lack of progress in football administration in the region. And we can also ask for the expense for the trip and you have to give it to us and then we can compare and see how much money we do duly deserve and I guarantee well, I you it's not a thousand dollars. In your currency trading today, it was costing $143.45 for one U.S. dollar, the British pound sterling for $194.83, and the Canadian dollar for $114.19. In your weather forecast, Thursday morning will be partly cloudy across eastern parishes and mainly sunny elsewhere. In the afternoon, it will be partly cloudy. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.